I met my knight in shining armor in the most romantic way. It was raining. I was running for shelter and slipped, but just in time someone caught me. And the minute I saw his eyes, I fell in love. And he was Harry Styles. Astrid, wake up. You're late for school. Honey, come on. I'm running late too. Wake up. Aww, oh, I can't have a beautiful dream in peace. Hi everyone, I'm Astrid and I'm from the land down under. And this is how my life turned into a rom-com movie. Or so I thought. But first, like and subscribe. Growing up, I've always watched love stories with my parents. I loved how romantic and heartwarming it was when the hero and love interest met and fell in love. I wanted that too, but my life was the complete opposite. I wasn't as bold as the girls in the movies. I was shy and awkward around new people because I had a problem. When I was little, I would burp out loud and my stomach would always growl really loudly. It was so embarrassing. One summer when I was six, I was playing with the kids in the neighborhood and I ended up burping so loud, they all fell over laughing and started making fun of me. <laughs> Astrid, be careful not to rocket to the moon. Astrid, you're Miss Burps a lot. <laughs> I was on the verge of tears when the new kid, Tintin, purposely farted so loud. All of the kids began making fun of him instead, but he didn't mind. He joined them. He walked me home and introduced himself. Hi, I'm Tintin. <laughs> Hi, Lo. Sorry, I began saying hi and changed it to hello? I mean, hi, Lo. Haha, <laughs> I like it. Why are you named Tintin? That's my mom's nickname for me. I know, it's embarrassing. No, it's cute. Tintin and I hung out the entire summer, but then he moved away and I never saw him after that. But it was all thanks to him that I began being a little more bold. Pretty soon, I became really talkative and sassy. When I was 16, mom and dad announced that we were moving because of dad's business. They enrolled me into a new school and I was super excited because unlike my previous school, this boarding school had both boys and girls. <sighs> Maybe I'll finally get to meet my Prince Charming. I left home a couple of days early to set up everything at my dorm. Okay, I'm ready for my meet cute. Just as I opened the door, a handsome boy stepped out. I'm pretty sure I began drooling because he frowned at me. Pull yourself together, Astrid. Um, isn't this room 707? Looks like it. You need something? If not, then please. Excuse me. Yeah, I need something. I need to know why there is a boy in my room when I'm clearly supposed to have a female roommate. Right before he could reply, a girl with hair as colorful as a rainbow came in and introduced herself as Mia and apologized on behalf of her friend, Zane. He can be a jerk sometimes, but he's not all bad. We're actually heading out for a party. You wanna join? Uh, no, I can't. I have to unpack. Come on, Mia. It's probably grandma's nap time. Did he just call me a grandma because of my outfit? It's like Mia read my mind because she immediately hit him in the back of his head and scolded him. The next day, Mia let me raid her wardrobe for another party at her friend's house. And not to brag, but I looked like a million dollars. I was pretty excited for the party, but when I got there, the party was for the whole floor. And I was surprised to learn that the guy throwing it was none other than the jerk, Zane. Hey, Astrid, I'm sorry about yesterday. I was irritated about something and... You were a jerk. I agree. I promise. I'll make it up to you. And he did. Zane was so kind and sweet. He introduced me to all of his friends and hung out with me most of the entire night. He was a delight to be around. Okay, quit hogging her. It's my turn with Astrid. Mia yanked me and took me with her through the rest of the party and gave the rundown on everyone. Those are the kids who are still stuck in their goth phase, and those are the ones who joined here on a scholarship, the foreigners. But I noticed one girl staring daggers at me. Oh, why is that girl looking at me like I just kicked her puppy? Oh, <laughs> that's Zane's ex-girlfriend. He dumped her recently. It's an on and off thing. Been going on for a while. Ignore her. So I did, and the party was so much fun. I can't believe I've never done this before. Pretty soon, I was part of the coolest group in school. Mia took me along with her everywhere she went, and I noticed how rich they actually were. There was rich, and then there was this group. Most of their parents were in business like mine. Zane's dad, however, was the headmaster of the school. Speaking of Zane, I just couldn't help falling in love with him. He was just perfect, like all the guys in the rom-coms I watched, always holding the door open for me, giving me cute handwritten letters, and complimenting me constantly. 
He treated me like a princess. He took me to the carnival, and when we were on the Ferris wheel, he took my hand in his and smiled. Astrid, I've been waiting to tell you something, but I can't wait anymore. When I look into your eyes, and you're looking back at mine, I feel stronger and scared at the same time. Zane, are you kind of quoting Spider-Man right now? No, you nerd. Just let me say what I have to. Look, what I'm trying to say is, I like you a lot. Are you saying you want to be the Spider-Man to my MJ? Zane laughed and pulled me in for a kiss. And just then, the fireworks began, and it was the most beautiful moment of my life. My first kiss, my first boyfriend. My life was finally turning into the most romantic movie. But the next day, Mia dragged me to the washroom. She was behaving a little weird. Astrid, I have to tell you something. Zane is my friend, but look, I know you want something serious. But Zane, he switches girlfriends faster than I can even say the word girlfriend. He's constantly flirting with everyone. Mia, I understand your concern, but he already told me all of this. He says he's changed and I trust him. Mia just sighed and left. I did think about what she said for a while, especially when I noticed his ex-girlfriend hovering around us all the time. But I knew that I could trust Zane, just like he did me. He was perfect and he would never do anything to hurt me. A few days later, I was at a cafe and I realized I wasn't carrying my wallet with me. Uh, I'll get that. When I turned around, I saw a tall and handsome guy. He looked like an angel with the light behind his head, just like a halo, and very familiar. Oh, really? Oh, thank you so much. I'm Astrid. Let me give you my number so I can pay you back. Wait, you're Astrid? The burper? It's me, Elton. Tintin. Wow, he sure had a big glow up. We began talking and he told me that he was joining our school. I was excited and I even showed him around. I even gave him a rundown of all the groups, just like Mia did for me. As I took him to meet my friends, I spotted Zane looking at Elton and he turned red. The entire day, Zane was in a snappy mood. No matter what any of us said, he would always snap or be sarcastic. I had had enough of his attitude. Why are you being like this? That guy, Elton, stay away from him. He's no good. Aw, is someone jealous? I don't get jealous, but I don't trust him. The way he looks at you, he doesn't look at me in any way, Zane. He's an old friend. I would appreciate it if you two could get along. Please, for me? Zane scoffed, but eventually agreed. But every time Elton and I would laugh or coincidentally order the same things, Zane would get irritated. Like once, Elton and I completed each other's sentences during a conversation and high-fived. Zane became furious and left the table abruptly. I ran after him. I don't like how close you two are. You're my girlfriend. Yes, I am. So why are you so worried? Don't you trust me? So many people asked me if you two were together. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I was sad for Zane, but I was angry because he didn't trust me at all. I let Zane be grumpy and just walked away. Things kept getting worse by the day. We began arguing and Zane would get furious every time I even mentioned Elton. One day, Zane just dragged me outside while I was in the middle of a conversation with Elton in front of everyone. Zane, let go, you're hurting me. What's your problem? Why are you still talking to him? Can't you see he's trying to take you away from me? Zane, you're being paranoid. Talk to me when you're calm, yeah? I had to get away from Zane to clear my head out. When I said I wanted my life to be a romantic movie, I thought of rom-com, not a romantic drama. Just as I was walking alone on the road, it began raining. <sighs> Perfect, just what I needed. Where's the handsome boy with the umbrella? No umbrella, but I have a car. I turned to see Elton in his car with the door open. We went to a cafe and I told him everything that happened between Zane and I, and he comforted me again. He was literally the perfect person, just like Zane was in the beginning. And then out of nowhere, Elton leaned in and kissed me. I immediately pushed him off. What the heck are you doing? Have you lost your mind? No, I like you and I think you deserve to be with someone like me, not that crazy Zane. I slapped him hard across the face and ran away. Maybe Zane had been right about him. I was looking everywhere for Zane, and when I found him, my blood ran cold. There he was, with his ex-girlfriend holding his hand and leaning in to kiss him. I had enough. How could you do this? I thought, how long has this been going on? No, I, I didn't. It was her. But I had bigger problems, like the bile rising up, making me throw up all over Zane's shoes. Perfect. This was the cherry on top of the cake that was my life.
I quickly ran out, completely embarrassed. I had only one person I could turn to this time, Mia. The minute Mia saw me, she hugged me as I cried. She started apologizing like crazy. What was she apologizing for? Astrid, it was all a bet. Mia then told me how Zane had bet Elton that he would get me to fall in love with him, and Elton said he would make me choose him instead. How could they play with someone's feelings that way? Those jerks! I was furious with Mia as well for lying to me. I'm sorry. That's why I tried to tell you Zane wasn't what you thought. And there's something else. What else could there be? Zane and Elton are stepbrothers. Elton hates Zane because Zane dated the girl Elton loved. Now they make these bets out of spite for each other. I couldn't stand being around such vile people. So I went back home and stayed in my room for days. My parents thought I was sick. Both boys kept calling me, but I ignored them. Then one day, Mia came to visit. I know I was wrong not to tell you sooner, but I thought I was in love with Zane. I cried when you started dating, and now you're crying. <sighs> How about this? Instead of crying over guys who wronged us, why not get back at them? How? I just found out that Zane and Elton have made bets like this for months with many girls. What if we expose them to the whole school? Do they know I know about the bet? No, they have no idea. It was time for payback. Back at school, Mia told both boys I was finally back in my dorm. Zane came running to me first and he began apologizing. What do you keep apologizing for? That's when Elton came in. Zane didn't give him a chance to talk. What you saw that day, my ex-girlfriend? She did that, not me. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were sorry because of the disgusting bet you both made and trying to make me fall in love with you. The shock on both their faces was priceless. And I know you've done this several times with many girls. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm not. It actually helps me. Thanks to these disgusting bets, girls helped me get good grades, amazing gifts. When did you become this person? You were so kind. Oh, that was like a decade ago. People change, Astrid. Not everyone is like the perfect Prince Charming you want. <laughs> Go and cry a river somewhere else. <laughs> Shut up, Elton. Astrid, I'm really sorry for everything. The truth is, it did begin as a bet, but I began liking you for real. Every little thing about you. I don't care. You hurt me and so many other people. Everyone will know what jerks you two are. <laughs> no one's gonna believe you. Actually, they will. We had live streamed the entire conversation. When the boys realized what was happening, they turned pale. Elton immediately ran away. Well, just like every high school, word spread like wildfire and soon reached the headmaster, their dad. Elton was expelled for cheating, and all the girls hated him and Zane, so he left school too. Zane sent me apology letters and gifts. He tried to call and text me, but I ignored it all. Now, I'm only focused on studying and being happy with myself instead of looking for some Prince Charming, because I finally realized there is one person more important than any boy in my life, me.